So if you have no idea what MyFitnessPal is, you should probably just download it. It's free. It kind of takes some time to navigate it. So I hope that this video will help you kind of navigate through the app itself. Um, so my tip is to go to your app store, download MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal will basically be your diary for your fitness journey. So you can actually um, link it to your watch or whatever you do. I only use it only for my food diary. So because my fitness pal is used worldwide, it's really, really on point with different restaurants um, or just different foods in general. What I also like is if I'm in, ever in doubt, I can just scan the barcode of the actual um, meal or bag of whatever I'm eating. Say if it's a rice cake and I've never used this rice cake and yes, I like me some rice cakes then I will scan it and uh, input the serving size if I'm having two or one or half of a serving. All of that stuff counts to your macros. So you basically just document your food throughout the day. Then you can go and look at your nutrients um, and see the breakdown of your carbs, of your proteins, your fats, and your sugars. Those are the the four that I really pay attention to. I know that I'm getting enough fiber because I know I eat vegetables in every single meal. And even if I have a smoothie, I put a scoop of uh, super greens, superfood greens in there, so green superfood, something like that. Um, and it's two full servings of greens. So I know in the morning when I'm having a shake with oatmeal and my protein powder and my greens, I'm having a full complete like meal the most helpful thing that's got me on point with my food and it would be so helpful for you if you are learning to do your macros or if you're just learning for weight loss purposes and you want to just see like what you're eating and how many calories you're actually eating throughout the day and what you need to minimize um, and what you need to add because what I did notice is there is foods of wasted calories like it's calories but it has no significant amount of carbs or protein. You need carbs. So like make sure you're eating carbs. So if things are like 24 grams of carbs and six grams of, of protein, yes, boo, eat that. Keep your sugars under 30 is what my trainer's telling me. So um, the less sugar, the better. with my little sweet tooth so it is getting better <sighs> just really just learning about yourself learning about your body and as I have gotten better I've been doing this now for like three full weeks of documenting my food I know what I need to eat to target my specific macro counts so my trainer measures me and she checks my BMI and then um, gives me a certain percentage of carbs, protein, and fats to eat according to my calories. So that's kind of the basic breakdown of it. So it's not perfect yet, but it is getting there. It has to get there because I'm now going into my ninth week of week out of my prep. So things have to start getting perfect. I'm seeing way too many results to like mess it up. So I'm really about to get on the ball. Okay.